Good day everyone, my name is Ediki Aikuritana from Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. My topic is about PPP or Presentation, Practice, and Production. A deductive approach often fits into a lesson structure known as PPP or Presentation, Practice, or Production. The teacher presents the target language and then gives students the opportunity to practice it through very controlled activities. The final stage of the lesson gives the students the opportunity to practice the target language in free activities which bring in other language elements. This is where the language is introduced or presented to the learners, usually by way of introducing a context or situation. The aim is to make sure students understand the context and to get them thinking about it. The ideas or suggestions from students get them to talk to each other about what they know or think about the situation. The practice stage is when students use the language in a controlled way. The stage is sometimes divided into two, a control practice and a free practice. The aim of this stage is accuracy. Error correction is important in this stage, so make sure you monitor the students closely and take time to error correction. Immediately for target language errors that seems to be common, a delayed error correction section after the activity would be useful. The production stage is where the language is used in a more open way. The focus of this stage is using the language as fluently and natural as possible, as students would do outside of the classroom. PPP is paradigm or model used to describe typical stages of presentation of new language. It means presentation, production, and practice. The practice stage aims to provide opportunities for learners to use the target structure. Criticism of this paradigm argues that the free practice stage may not the target language as it is designated to do. As in this meaning-based stage, students communicate with any language they can.